Alright guys, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're here with Captain Shepard. Is he commander yet? I can't remember. But I've come over here to speak to Grunt because Kelly's giving me a little message that Grunt was getting a little irate and may want to speak to me. So I think he's about to reveal his loyalty mission to us. Thanks again for joining us guys. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you can. Let's get talking to Grunt. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. With my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Okay, um, puberty, maybe? Uh, uh, you have no idea? You're a Krogan? Restrain yourself, man. Surely you have an idea of what's going on. Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles. Voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? What being tank-born? Um, well, let's ask the AI. Oh, that's good. We need a Krogan opinion or report to the doctor. Um, wow, let's, uh, let's ask the AI. Maybe she'll know? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld, Tuchanka. Alright, so I guess we can go to Tuchanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. There we go. So we've got ourselves a loyalty mission for Grunt here. We're going to have to travel to the Krogan homeworld. Yeah, well, she said he was tearing the place up. The smashed window is the only thing I think we've seen so far, but we'll take that word for it. Right, let's get on with the next part of the story, shall we? Um, I'm going to head back up to the main deck. And we'll pick ourselves a little mission. Let's have a look at what we've got in the journal. Uh, we did a, a, a massive, massive DLC sized side quest, well it was a DLC in the last episode, so this time I think we should get on with another main mission. We've got uh, these three loyalty missions here for Grunt, Mordin and Jack. Miranda's down there, Kasumi's down there, Zaid's as well. Um, but I feel like we should probably go off... Ah, should we do a loyalty or do I want to keep gaining Paragon? Because I want to make sure when I do the loyalty missions I've got enough Paragon to make sure I gain each of my ship crew's loyalty. Now, I'm gonna go for the assassin, Thane Krios. Oh, well, interesting. We've got, we've got to go to Ilium for a number of reasons, and I need to be careful I don't trigger the wrong mission. So, anyway, let's head out there to Ilium. Commander, Morden requests to see you. Oh, Morden wants to see me. Oh, God. Um, oh, oh okay, all right, we'll go check out Morden very quick. Oh, he's over here anyway. I've been, by the way, I, I did buy a load of upgrades, just like skin weaves, heavy weaves, loads of stuff to upgrade Shepard. And I've also, I should point out, I've upgraded my incendiary ammo all the way to the max. And you get a choice. I can either make my incendiary ammo explosive, um, or I can give the incendiary ammo to the whole crew. Every single shot of theirs will now carry some incendiary power. Which is why I chose. I thought that would be better for, you know, firefight. Literally, a crossfire fight. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Uh, yeah, I do actually remember that. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Huh. Well, that's two reasons to go to Tuchanka then. Uh, so they know what you did? Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? 
Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. All right, I guess we'll we'll do this. We got another we'll go one. To Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Got it. Well, there we go. Morden's loyalty mission pops up as well. I'm still not going to do it just yet. All right. Let's get over to Ilium. No messages for you, Commander. No messages. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, oh, we're in the we're in the Sol region. Neptune, Pluto, Uranus, Mercury, Earth, Venus. Mar oh wow! I didn't realize I was here. Oh look at this. Should we just quickly check on Earth? How are you doing? Looking good as ever. Let's head out. Where's Ilium? Ilium, Ilium. Crescent Nebula over here. Beautiful. Well, we've got a few planets we can mine. I'll probably do that after I've had a, a, a little visit to Ilium itself. Got loads of stuff. Oh, Liara's down here. Maybe we'll spot her as well. Okay, Ilium, a classic garden world developed to serve as entrepôt between the Terminus systems and the Asari republics. Uh, it's a young Asari colony settled during the seventh expansion wave. Loads of lore in this game. Seriously, I mean, if you... If you spend the time reading all this stuff, there is a deep, deep history built and woven neatly into this Mass Effect universe. It's pretty cool. Sadly, I haven't got time to read it all. Well, um, I suppose I shouldn't take people I want to do the, the, the loyalty with, but I don't know who that leaves me. Um, let's take, let's take Grunt. Well done, Grunt. You're on my team. And Kasumi or Jack? I think Kasumi maybe? Jack maybe? I can't remember whose loyalty missions are down here. Let's try Jack out. She's pretty badass. Okay, now Shepard. There is another weapon that I, I managed to uh, pick up. We have the, the, the particle beam, which is a fantastic heavy weapon. But I've just unlocked this one, the Avalanche. It's a cryo round technology. Modifies standard weapon slugs. A cooling laser collapses the ammunition into Bose-Einstein condensate. Jeez, I, that's probably a real thing. A mass of supercooled subatomic particles capable of snap-freezing impacted objects. Let's, let's select that one. Um, the submachine gun, I guess we'll keep. That's, it's still, I really do still hate the spray. It's got a lot of recoil. But heading down to Ilium. Now, God, I hope I don't trigger something. I don't intend to. Look at this place. I thought they said it was a garden world. I don't see much green. And I've also changed out my armor. We're in Iron Man suit today. Welcome ah. to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Well, thank you very much. Why do I get a free pass? Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Okay, uh, this is great. We're going to re be reunited with Liara. Uh, okay, let's, let's ask a little bit about her. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'll bet she is. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So, what? Oh, Nosostra attractions. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosostra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Signing anything? What do you mean? What's so dangerous about signing something? 
Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Okay, uh, any more options to... Oh, I am looking for someone. Oh, who do I say I'm looking for? I've forgotten. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Okay, thank you very much for your assistance. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Right, fair enough. Okay, let's go and get all this information from Liara. Maybe we're going to do more than one to uh, sorry, recruitment mission today. We want to speak to the Justicar. Uh, is she in here? Oh no, that's the exchange. Your employees for too long. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Wow. Well, let's just check out the view of the city. It looks pretty spectacular. Can't wait till we get flying cars. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not here. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Who's this? Oh, an, a random Asari. You're Commander Shepard. I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Novaria? Oh, remind me. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard. We hide, we borrow, we build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Oh wow, that's the Rachni Queen! Oh, well, remember we saved her, and that that would carry over into the next story. I guess we've just found out exactly what that was all about. Right, stop controlling her, or are you on Ilium? I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Wow, that's so cool. So this, it was a good thing to do. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Okay, this is really cool though. Um. So, do we have any idea where the Rachni are? Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was... removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Oh, damn it. I would like to run into them again. That was a really memorable mission. Um, so what do you think the meaning of the message is? She said she would burn the darkness. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. 
Some things soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. Right, does she mean the Collectors or the Reapers? But I suppose they must have indoctrinated her so she was... They were they, I should say. Were incapable of making their own decisions. She must mean the Reapers. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure. But she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Okay. Uh, what was your purpose? You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. Wow, this is great. Well, hopefully they will become a useful ally in the future. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Wow, great encounter. I love to explore these conversations. And uh, although I know I've missed a few over the episodes that we've done so far, uh, I'm, I'm spending more time consciously deciding to do it. Let's have a little chat with Jack, shall we? Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. You're picking the fat and slow from the herd. Where's the fun in that? Depends on what you're after. <laughs> Jack, she's absolutely ruthless. Gianni Parasini, who are you? Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. Oh, it's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. I do remember this. Yes, this was awesome. She was the, uh, like, the, the, the person in charge. I can't remember the colony. Um, but yeah, this guy, the administrator, was an abs... He was a... Uh, oh, he was... He was like Garrus. I can't remember the species, but he was absolutely dictator. He was an absolute dictator. I added the tater. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Now this is true. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Um, hmm. I am on a mission. I'm hitting the Collectors. I mean, I, I don't suppose it would be a bad thing to tell her. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. What was that look and for? don't forget to drink your beer. I'm not gonna touch it. So what was that about? Look at the beer that she ordered. That means I don't have to... Oh, hang on, there's a note underneath. To Paragon. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Asari merchant smuggling uh, schematics from Navaria. Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? Oh, well, we've got ourselves a little side quest to be getting on with. Let's have a quick look. Is that what it says? Yeah. Gianna Parasini requested help in an undercover operation. She wants to draw out a nearby tech merchant. Who believes is smuggling merchandise. Merchandise. Well, I like this. I really do like this. We're picking up loads of stuff to do, and there's already a bounty of things to be getting on with. Um, now, I think I have to head up to administration. I better check my uh, all of my missions here. Liara, former teammate Liara, is working on Ilium as an information broker. She may have helpful information and has asked to be contacted. Uh, she's in her office overlooking the trading floor. Now, if this is the trading floor, which it looks like, yep, I'm guessing. We'll go Are you a Corian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination? Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Uh huh. 
You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. The people respect her? Why would I ask that? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Got it. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. I can already feel Shepard's excitement is building. As is mine. Oh, Have Liara. you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Oh no! She kissed him, she kissed his helmet! I don't think that was supposed to happen. We should have come here without our hat on. Oh no. <laughs> that made that scene a little awkward. My sources awkward. said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. The voice sounds slightly different though, doesn't it? Sources? Sources? You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bill since you, well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. She is well informed. Shall I ask her to join us? If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What, what, what things? Can I help you then? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Not a problem. I I'll definitely do this. So, um, tell me what's going on. Maybe you could? What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Uh-huh. <coughs> so why? Why do you need my help? Can't you do this Hacking yourself? Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Okay, <clears throat> we'll definitely help. Of course we will. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Well, she looked very happy. Now I've got to ask about two potential recruits. First up, we're going to talk and ask about Thane. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. Okay, look at this. You just knew that? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. <laughs> okay, well, alright, while we're here, let's get the lowdown on Samara as well. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Okay, and why is she being tracked? Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Okay, I think that's enough. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. 
If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Okay, no problem. Um, let's get the Shadow Broker, or how are you? How are you doing, Liara? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship, or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. Can't wait. Okay, um... We already said we go. I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will... Yeah, yeah, Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. All right. Goodbye, Liara. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Leave your door unlocked. Okay, so go to the transport hub uh, to tracking officer Dara. Or we'll talk to Serena in the cargo transfer level downstairs. I wonder if we should just for the... Just to sort of tail up or tie up, rather, this episode. Maybe we should just take on that side quest... That was downstairs, and we'll we'll do the recruitment the missions in the next one. Play by the rules. So we had a target. Let's uh, let's just check it out. Hope that's okay with you guys. This is just the way it's going for me today. I'm I'm thinking on my feet. We've got to talk to a merchant. Uh, convince the tech merchant to show their smuggled merchandise. So we've got to we've got to be all. Ah, oh, this was the one that gave her the funny look. Hey, merchant. I'm looking for the best tech up. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Oh, hey big spender. <laughs> I'm a big spender. Yes. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. Hmm. Interesting. Special items. I mean, she saw me with her anyway, so I don't know... Yeah, anyway, she's not... Maybe she's not that bright. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Ah, there we go. That's it. She's selling... Oh, I want advanced merchandise. So she's she's selling stolen or unlicensed items. That's exactly what we're trying to find out. So I need advanced stuff. I need re I need the good shit. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Okay, what about the schematic? Can I have that anyway? Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Okay. So she hasn't lost her wandering eyes. Uh, talk to Gianna. Right, let's go back over, speak to her. And I think we'll, we'll probably tie up this episode. I'm gonna, I wanna, oh, I've got five paragon for that. That's exactly what I wanted to do today. Uh, right, Gianni. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. So oh, ageless and that's superior. a coincidence. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. <laughs> no, I love nailing a sorry when they squeal like school. Seriously, seriously, this is like too many jokes. It hurts. Stop it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get on with the conversation. <laughs> so you love doing this, do you? Uh, was it a long assignment? Oh no, stop it. Um. <laughs> It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> okay, uh, Gianna's history, tell me more. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. 
You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Oh, okay. Um, and what are your plans? What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Well, dark energy, I mean, it's definitely something to worry about if you live in the universe. Because uh, it's, it's causing the accelerated expansion of the universe. Anyway, it's probably the reason why eventually the universe will just fade away. Uh, right, investigate. What about this undercover work? It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Okay, but you, uh, hang on, but you enjoy it? I've already said that. Okay, so it was good to see you. Oh no, but do you enjoy it? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. <laughs> All right, great to see you. Gotta go. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Now the worry for me is that she's investigating hacking. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Oh, Gianna, you kissed the you kissed Shepard helmet as well. <laughs> oh my god, he's getting it from all sides today. Shepard, you dirty dog. Well, guys, I'm gonna do the recruitment in the next bits. Uh, I, I've, I've enjoyed this episode, but it obviously is a lot shorter. What I promise you, though, is that the next part of my journey here on Ilium will be the very next video that comes out on the channel. And it, I promise it will be on the same day. Okay, it will, it will come out in a few hours from now as you're watching this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. So this is so you don't have to wait too long, basically. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. All the very best. Don't forget to leave a like, of course, if you can. I will love you all forever. All the best. Good night.